A professor at a university asked his students one time this question. Everything that exists was created by God? One student bravely answered, yes, it's all created by God. Did God really create everything, the professor asked? Yes, sir, replied the student. Then the professor asked, if God created everything, that means God created evil since evil exists. And according to the principle that our deeds define ourselves, then God is evil. And to this, the student became silent and um, just didn't answer anymore. The professor was very pleased with himself. He boasted to the students um, about proving once again that faith in God is a myth. Then another student raised his hand and said, can I ask you a question, professor? Of course, um, replied the, the professor. And the student got up and asked, professor, is cold a thing? What kind of question is that? Of course, cold exists. Have you ever been cold? Students laughed at the young man's question. The young man answered, actually, sir, cold doesn't exist. According to the laws of physics, what we consider cold is actually the absence of heat. Absolute zero, which is 460 degrees Fahrenheit, is a complete absence of heat. All matter becomes inert and unable to react at that temperature. Cold does not exist. We created this word to describe what we feel in the absence of heat. Then the student continued, Professor, does darkness exist? Of course it exists. You're wrong again, sir. Darkness also doesn't exist. Darkness is actually the absence of light. We can study the light, but not the darkness. We can use Newton's prism to spread white light across multiple colors and explore the different wavelengths of each color. You can't measure darkness. A simple ray of light can break into the world of darkness and illuminate it. You can tell how dark a certain space is by measuring how much light is present. Isn't that so? Darkness is a term man uses to describe what happens in the absence of light. In the end, the young man asked the professor, sir, does evil exist? And this time, the professor, professor, less certain, says, of course, as I said before, we see evil every day, cruelty, numerous crimes, and violence throughout the world. These examples are nothing but a manifestation of evil. And to this, the student answered, evil does not exist, sir, or at least it does not exist for itself. Evil is simply the absence of God. It is like darkness and cold, a man-made word to describe the absence of God. God did not create evil. Evil is not faith or love, which exist as light and warmth does. Evil is the result of the absence of divine love in the human heart. It's the kind of cold that comes when there's no heat or the kind of darkness that comes when there's no light. The student's name was Albert Einstein.